Hey everyone, Tesla Tom here. Thanks for joining us today on my YouTube channel. We are going through software update 2021.36.5.6 here in our Tesla Model 3 here in Sydney, Australia. Release notes, there's only one thing unfortunately. Mobile app improvements. You can now adjust charge current, scheduled departure or scheduled charging at your car's current location from the Tesla app. Note this functionality requires mobile app version 4.1.0. I've already done a detailed video on that improvement in a previous update, so make sure you check that video out. So today we're just going to go on an autopilot test drive. And to do that, double tap the right stalk like this. There we go, autopilot has commenced. Let's put the cameras on for you guys. There we are. So just a very quick drive today quick lane change, there we go, yep just up and back this main road just to make sure there's no major bugs that we need to be aware of on this drive and just to add to the complexity there is a bit of rain and thunder tonight but that shouldn't be too much of an issue at this stage visibility is still quite good but sometimes when it's really bad rain, autopilot does switch off. So let's see what happens today. So far so good, sometimes it does get it wrong there. You can see that car looks like it's crossing the lane there, but uh, not so much in real life. There's a police car on my left. That's why we don't speed people. Police like to hide in that pocket sometimes. Yeah, I mean, on um, cruise control, this car is pretty good. Follows the speed very well. Right, so sometimes a nag comes up like that. Just a little, uh, just a little thing that Tesla does to make sure that we're still awake and paying attention. Let's do a quick lane change to the left because this right lane does end or becomes a right turning filter lane. About to merge into this lane. I can see a car to my left there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, pretty good. Zip it in front of the car behind. Very good. Actually, I do want to go in that right lane. Let's just go back in. Whoa. Take control there. Probably got a funny look from the car behind me. Very odd. It wanted to do a lane change, but then it decided not to. Interesting. So that's why I always have your hands very close to the steering wheel there, guys. Just in case something like that happens. Alright, so we'll do a right turn here. And then we'll swing back around under the underpass again. So that's one uh, example of how to uh, disengage autopilot. Just take control like that. When you do take over the wheel like that, um, the... Cruise control stays on, like you see there, but obviously auto steer disengages. You can also um, um, flick up the right indicate a uh, right stalk that also breaks it or disengages autopilot, or you can press the brake pedal as well. Uh, in those two, in those two latter scenarios, uh, cruise, con cruise control also uh, disengages too. As well. So only if you take over with the steering wheel does cruise control continue. Have to go back and see what that um, notification was. Possibly because I was in the roundabout and cruise control is still on. As you guys might have seen in many of my drives, uh, you've always got to be aware, of course, things do happen. It's not uh, autonomous by any means. So always eyes on the road, hands on the wheel. Right, what we want to do is drive into the far right lane so we can use the underpass again. Got some new tyres recently, so Help with the um, gripping the road a bit better. 
in the wet. All right, let's engage autopilot again. So a couple of ways you can match the posted speed sign, which is this one here. This is your speed or the autopilot max speed. That's the posted speed sign. Let's just say if I roll it down like that with the wheel, I want to match it again. I just press that. That's one way to do it. Or you can also do this. You can also do right stalk, hold down one, two, and then it matches the posted speed sign there, as you can see. There's a couple of ways you can match the posted speed sign. One, tap the posted speed sign there, or right stalk down, count one, two, then it matches the, um, the speed sign, speed limit. There you go, guys. The quick test today, quick video. There's the police car again on the right. And yeah, just a quick autopilot test drive on software update 2021.36.5.6, just a quick bug fix performance improvements update, nothing too major. The uh, app, like I said, uh, app improvements I've already done in a previous video, so make sure you look at that as well. But uh, that is it for today, guys. Hope you're all doing well. If you've uh, received this update recently, let me know if there's any improvements you found or anything else I've missed, leave a comment below. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate your support. And until the next software update video, happy charging. Bye now.